What's up guys, War here, and today we're gonna give you some tips on how to play Apex's technological tracker, Bloodhound. Bloodhound is known across the Outlands as one of the greatest game hunters Apex has ever seen. Bloodhound is one of the best picked legends being used all the way from pubs up to high tier rank play and even competitive play. The best thing about Bloodhound is supporting your team, providing constant scans and wall hacks, especially through Bangalore smoke or caustic gas, which may be one of the reasons Bloodhound is picked so much. Now let's take a look at her kit. Bloodhound's passive tracker leaves behind clues to where your enemies have gone so you can track them down. These tracks appear on the screen color coded with dark red being the most recent. Tracks are left up to about a minute, which you can see just by placing your cursor over the tracks. Bloodhound can ping the clues to help notify your team of someone that was just being here or a recent fight that just broke out. Don't forget, Bloodhound is a recon character and can scan beacons to help get your team info on where the ring is gonna pull. But keep in mind that it does take the animation a couple seconds, so be wary of team sniping. Overall, the tracker passive is a little underwhelming and most of the time just looking ahead you will be able to see most team and what's going on. Although shadowing a team off of these tracks is a great strategy, especially in ranked. Now let's get into why you picked Bloodhound, his tactical, Eye of the Allfather. Eye of the Allfather scans 125 degrees in a cone in front of the user, scanning players, traps, and gives your team vital information in a fight up to 75 meters. Having permanent wall hacks for your team puts the cooldown of this ability at an astonishing 25 seconds. But its cost is worth it when you can scan players, they're visible for 3 seconds, and if you scan a placeable item like a trap or a loba all, a Watson fence, it will be visible until it is destroyed. Keep in mind that wall hacks are good, enemy teams can see and hear Bloodhound scans, so if you want to be a little sneaky, use them wisely. Scanning enemies is great for finding rats and ranked, out of place enemies or coordinating an alpha strike on a team camping. Scanning gives you the entire advantage in a fight. Although the teams know that, you're, that they're being scanned, it does put them on a defensive aspect when you are fighting them. You will know exactly where they are and most players who get scanned stay in the same spot hoping not to get pushed or they stay in the same area. So you will have every advantage in a fight with Bloodhound scans. I do wanna add that you, in a fight, you do wanna scan as often as possible to make sure that your team is given the exact information on enemy players and traps. Another way that you can use the scans is right after defeating an enemy team that you get up and scan a direction that you didn't come from for a possible third party so that way you and your team get prepped on when they are coming. So that way you are prepared to fight them on the next fight. Armor swapping, all that good stuff. Make sure to scan with Bloodhound's tactical all the time. Scanning upcoming buildings or areas that you wanna take, especially in ranked, is very good to find out if teams are actually there so they aren't camping, ratting, and then you get surprised and your team ends up losing a fight. Always scanning buildings or objects or places where you think a team might be hiding is very good when you're approaching a building trying to secure that location. Now the best bang for your buck with Bloodhound is Bloodhound's ultimate Beast of the Hunt. Beast of the Hunt enhances Bloodhound's senses, turning the screen gray and highlighting all enemies and tracks in red. This also increases Bloodhound's movement speed by 30%, and every knock, all you need is a knock, will increase the duration of Bloodhound's ultimate from either between 5 to 15 seconds based on how much time is left on the cooldown. On top of all that, it reduces Bloodhound's tactical Eye of the Allfather by eight seconds, allowing you to constantly scan every five seconds, keeping enemies highlighted throughout an entire fight. This is also great for tracking enemies that are trying to get away or locating enemies that are at the longer distances that may be possibly trying to third party you or where another team is fighting just to have an eye on them. Being able to consistently scan non-stop in a fight not only demoralizes the enemy team that you're fighting, but gives your team the perfect advantage in every fight. They're getting scans every five seconds and the scans last for three seconds on enemy players. So that means there's only two seconds that go by where you don't know possibly where a team is. And if you have a good Bloodhound utilizing the scans, that gives you ultimate wall hacks throughout an entire fight. The speed boost is also a great way to utilize individual skill in a fight. 
that increased speed gives you an advantage in a fight, allows you to move a lot faster, dodge bullets, and then get away from a fight or advance on an enemy team that you're trying to push. So utilize the 30% speed boost every chance you get. Another great way to utilize the speed boost is when you're in the zone. A lot of players don't think about it, but when you're deep inside the zone, with the increased damage that Season 14 brought with the changes to damage in the zone, using Bloodhound Speed Boost just to get out is a great way to make sure that you survive, especially when you're low on heals. I know it's not the best use of Bloodhound's ultimate, but in a niche, this is a great way to get yourself out of the zone and get ready to finish out the game. Keep in mind, just like Bloodhound's tactical, his ultimate is very loud and can give away your position. It can be heard from a good distance away and can notify a team that, hey, there's a team coming from this direction. So make sure if you want to be sneaky and be kind of stealthy to use it wisely and prep for the fight. You have a lot of time to use Bloodhound's ultimate, so use it before they can even hear it. Bloodhound is in the middle of the pack when it comes to his hitbox and has one of the largest hitboxes for the head. So be wary in team fights. Bloodhound is a support legend, keep that in mind. So he wants to be in the in the back to the middle or a secondary fragger, but close enough to be able to use and benefit scans for your team. Because of this, Bloodhound wants to run mid to long range guns or weapons, but a lot depends on your playstyle. If you're a passive style player, use a R301 plus a sniper would be good. If you're more up close and personal, R301 or a flatline with a 99 or a Volt and a Peacekeeper would be excellent. Now, a lot of this is going to depend on your personal playstyle on top of the team's playstyle that you guys are playing, but I would keep Bloodhound as a secondary fragger in the middle of the pack in your team. I want to add that when playing Bloodhound, there is a setting that you need to have turned off, which is FOV ability scaling. A lot of players don't play on 110 FOV, and if you're not playing on 110 FOV, when you enter the Beast of the Hunt, it will max your FOV to 110, which can cause problems for you if you're not used to playing on that FOV. As you can see, it's gonna change your screen, you're gonna be moving faster, your aiming is gonna be off. So try to keep this off when you're playing Bloodhound, so that way when you do hit his ultimate, you're gonna be at the same FOV that you are playing on, which will give you all the advantage in Beast of the Hunt. When it comes to legend pairings with Bloodhound, being a support and recon legend, you could pair him with anyone in the game. But some suggestions that I'll give you guys is pairing him with Seer to have ultimate wall hacks in any situation, Pairing with Caustic and Bangalore to be able to utilize the scans for your team while the enemy team is blinded. Both of those are really good. And you can pair them with Mobile Legends with Horizon, Octane, Loba. There's some really good legends to pair Bloodhound with in the Apex games. Virtually anyone can work with Bloodhound and Bloodhound will provide some of the best information for your team to win. One of the reasons that Bloodhound is one of the best characters in the game is because he's very easy to use. You don't have any complicated tasks or things that you need to do for his abilities. All you got to do is scan and pop all and then you fight as normal. Bloodhound is one of the easiest characters to use in that sense, but knowing when to optimize your scans and not just carelessly scanning away is going to make Bloodhound a great asset for your team. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video on how to play Bloodhound in the Apex games in Season 14. I hope you guys really did enjoy today's video. This is something a little different that we're doing on the channel, and I want to bring you some more guides for Apex Legends. So let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more videos like this for all the legends in the game, as well as other guides that I can bring to you. Bloodhound is my main in Apex Legends and has been for a while, even back to the con console days. So I really enjoyed making this guide on how to play Bloodhound. So again, I appreciate all the support, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. Uh, that really does help out the channel and push this out to everyone in the Apex Legends community. Um, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch everybody in the next one. Peace.